Nope. Hey, folks. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another uh, edition of Mayo's Movie Talk. I'm Joe Mayo, and I'm here with Tom Hanyadi. And uh, we're going to do another one of our uh, movie talk shows. That's what it's called. And uh, we do this, try to do it every Wednesday night about this time, 9 o'clock Eastern. So try to tune in every week, subscribe, et cetera, et cetera. Movie and television. I keep saying, you know, I call it movie, but there's TV in there too. Yeah. And anything like that, you know. So um, I'm hoping that we get some people participating. A lot of people have been waiting already. Hello to everybody. I'll just say a quick run through. Yeah. Patrick, Chauncey Phillips, Robin Ambrosi. What's up, Robin? Hello, Hello Robin. Robin. I'm a McGraw, y'all. <laughs> Uh, you should do 20 minutes of previews like a real theater. Good boy. Yeah, that AMC, I tell you, man. I'll tell you, it ain't easy. I'll tell you. Uh, Mike Wall, 7 15, yeah. Yeah, you go there, you, the movie starts at 7 15, and then, you know, oh. 30, 35 minutes later, you know, then you got to watch Nicole Kidman tell us to do what we're already doing. Yeah, I know. It's, it's insane. It's over. It's over. No, but uh, hello, hello everybody. I haven't met. Hello, hello everybody. I see everybody here, but it'll take the whole show to say hello to everybody individually. But hello everybody. Thank you for being Ooh. here. So why don't we get this, as I say, out of the way? The Oscars. Okay. Because I didn't watch them, but I'm sure you did. So I, I no, I was working, but I did watch the clips. Oh, oh okay. I did watch the clips, and I tell you, there was some, there was some good stuff. I mean, listen, I mean, the the ratings were up for the third year in a row, uh, for for the Oscars. So I mean, that's a good thing. Uh, um, but you know, I I think you know, expanding the the best picture to ten uh, nominees, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but Damn. I think, yeah, I think in a way that does help because that does, you know, in a way, you know, get more if you want to say popular films, you know, in there, kind of like how Barbie was nominated, which was the highest grossing film of last year, you know, maybe that does spark some interest in 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 people to watch, but. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, but I gotta tell you though, Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger came out, um, and they, uh, they were presenting an award and then they were talking about their, the, the characters they played on Batman and how they were killed by Batman. And then they panned on to Michael Keaton, who was there in the audience. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can, you can go on YouTube and watch that clip. I think you would enjoy it just because you, you know, you, you, you know, you like the, um, those, those first couple Batman, I think, yeah, yeah. but, um, but but yeah, it was really quick. It was really great. And then uh, Michael Keaton was just straight face, and he was just like, "Come on, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, bring it on." But it was it was it was done really well. But uh, overall, you know, I I knew Oppenheimer was going to win. It's been winning everything. So did you I. Know. I have never seen it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, but it, but it, even if you didn't watch it, you could, you, you could tell because uh, uh, it was winning everything else, you know. So there was no surprise there. The one surprise though was uh, was a couple, you know, um, Emma Stone um, winning over Lily Gladstone. Uh, Emma Stone, I thought, was fantastic and poor things. Uh, Lily Gladstone was great too, but she didn't carry the film like uh, like Emma Stone carried Poor Things. Uh, so <clears throat> I was fine with, with that Godzilla minus one, bat one best for, 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 uh, special effects. So that was cool. Uh, <laughs> the, old, the old consolation prize for the horror yes. science fiction movie. Yeah, <laughs> right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but uh, but all in all, I mean, the speeches the speeches were fantastic. You know, a lot of heartfelt, uh, tear jerking moments. They did something which they did many years ago, and what they did when they did when they presented the best actor categories, they brought out five five uh, previous winners, including the the previous year's winner. So, and then they just acknowledged each uh, each nominee that way, which I which I liked uh, the first time they did it i think way back in 2009 i think they did that for the first time um but i mean especially if you're rooting some for someone you, you kind of get some emotional to to hear another the, a peer talking about the people that are nominated so i really enjoyed that 
you know so there were some good moments you know some of the jokes weren't you know i know jimmy made a joke about um robert downey jr and his past uh you know drug issues you know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, we gotta go yeah. there yeah. yeah yeah so but uh well, but i, I heard, don't know I heard it was not real there was no real incident and there was not, not a lot of grandstanding well al pacino did al pacino did kind of yeah. you know the, the very last award presented by al pacino well you know he made a statement you know saying that he was kind of like rushed but from the producers they wanted him to rush it they really didn't want to go through um you know saying each each um nominee because they were talked about it throughout the show so he kind of just like opened the envelope and said the winner um but he said it in a way where people thought it was a question you know he goes i see oppenheimer you know, so kind of, he didn't really say, and the winner is, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, know. I, said, I know. Yeah, he, he should have said, who wah, Oppenheimer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so, should have done. No, yeah. But I, yeah, I heard something about that. And of course, John Lennon made an yeah. appearance. Yeah, Sean Lennon won. They won for best animated short uh, for that War is Over uh, mini um, animated feature, which I, I don't think any of us have seen yet, so. Um, can't right. say you're not, but uh, yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah, in a way that was, but again, like I said, Emma Stone carried that film, whereas Lily was more of a supporting actor. I felt in uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Mm -hmm. Well, I wish I could have said that I saw. Sometimes I've seen them, one at least one of them. <laughs> the, yeah, the best pictures or two. But um, uh, well, so were you, were you overall happy with the uh, the winners or you just... yeah 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 I was really happy with the winners you know the the zone of interest the one uh, uh, Holocaust film one best interna international feature you know I was really happy about that the um you know the adapted and original screenplays I mean those the the people that won for that were well deserving um so yeah I was really happy with uh, with the winners. Okay. Uh, well, the only way, you know, I sometimes, you know, they, they used to have a joke on Saturday Night Live with Bill Murray. I think it was used to predict all the right. winners or whatever. I mean, sometimes I can do that without even having seen them. I don't know why. You just know what the film's about or the buzz. Like, I right. everything was Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer. That's all I heard. So I thought that's got to win, you know? Yeah. You know. Yeah, that won the biggest. Yeah, I mean, the winning. I think it won six or seven um, of the eleven, or or no, I think it was thirteen. Yeah, it was thir they, thirteen nominations, and they won seven awards, uh, including you know, movie director, best actor, best supporting actor, and I think cinematography as well, um, and maybe even editing. So, but yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend people see that movie. Well, I'm I, I'm glad Godzilla minus one got something, even if it was just for effects. Right. Because I, they said that's I think that's the only Godzilla movie in seventy years. To, to, yeah. To, uh, that's right. You know, to get that, yeah. yeah. Uh, our, oh yeah. Okay. So uh, now, before we get on, a lot of times we, we talk about the things we watch. I only have a couple of things that, but yeah, yeah. I'll I'll do that first. Well, well the first thing I want to say is, on on April the second coming up. I'm going to see Ben Hur on the big screen again. It's, it's Joe, a, like, Joe, what are you doing, yeah. Joe? How many times are you going to see this, yeah, Joe? You're wasting your money, it. Joe. Joe. You're wasting your money, Joe. I'm trying to keep him out of this. Hello, Danny, if you're watching. So you got to take a break from that man. But anyway, I need a break. But uh, so, I'm gonna, you know, we're all set. We got our tickets and everything. We're looking forward to it. You know, my girlfriend and I, she loves the movie. I love the movie. Okay, great. So the other day, I'm, I'm turning on Turner Classic Movies on TV, and it's just it's just about to start Ben Hur, and I'm like, oh, I can't watch. You know, I just I feel like I don't want to watch this because I'm going to see. Right. It. I don't want to get tired of it. You know. So I thought, well, maybe we'll watch the first ten minutes or something, twenty minutes. We wound up watching the entire movie. <laughs> so it's not an again, it's not a new movie. It's a movie that I've seen already a bunch of times. So I watched the whole movie, whatever it is, three and a half hours, whatever. And I'm going to see it on the big screen. Joe, you just saw it for free. Joe, Joe. All right, that's one, that's yes. one thing. The other thing is, um, I want to tell you a little about this. This is uh, the Abbott and Costello television oh. show. Okay. All right. Um, I forget how many episodes there are on here. There's only two seasons. There's not a lot. 50, 52 episodes, all right? Mm. Now, a little history about this. It's DVD. 
Um, I got this. I know when I got this. In 2010. I, I, I know exactly when. 2010. I've never watched every episode on here in 14 years of have owning this. Right. So I wa- I, I'm going to do it this time. And I started with the first five episodes I've watched so far, which I, which I you know, I know st- well, most of them anyway from seeing them on TV. And I, I really have a good time with this. But the thing is, this is now available on Blu-ray. No, oh, okay. And I, you know, sometimes Tom, I say to myself, look, I want, I want everything up if I can, right? Ready to Blu-ray. However, I'm thinking sometimes there's things like this that if I, it looks upgraded enough, the DVD. How many? Like I said, it's been 14 years since I watched it. I didn't right. watch it. So, how many times? Next 14 years, am I going to watch it? So, so I'm, anyway, I put it on, and I'm like, no, 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 no. This needs. This needs definite right. upgrading. The, right. You know, well, the quality well, is not you, I noticed you did a, uh, I haven't watched it yet, but I noticed you did a video on the ranking honeymoon ep- Honeymooners episodes. Yeah, I took that. And, and it, was I, an old, it was an old movie. It was an old Oh, uh, uh, okay. But I noticed you had a Blu-ray, so, but I'm imagining that you also had the, a DVD version of it as well. Um, I, I don't have the DVD. Once I got the Blu-ray, I didn't have, I didn't keep the Well, that's DVD. what I mean. You upgraded, you upgraded that though. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 But the DVDs didn't look bad. This this looks bad, you know. I okay. Think, well, from, from what I'm used to, so I think I'm gonna have to get those again. Now this thing here is really disturbing me. Thank you for pointing. I wish Charles wouldn't point it out. I know you don't mean any harm. Sorry, but uh, I don't. I can't do anything. I don't know why that is. When right. I use the head the headphones, it's lower. I don't know why that is. I went into. I did everything I could do. I went into um, the audio and I put it as high as it could go. Let me just make sure it's still there. Well, as long as I'm here, hold on a minute. Yeah, it's at it's, it's at the max two hundred. I have this thing called reduce microphone background noise, which I also have on, in case maybe that there's nothing. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully people can hear me good. I know they can hear me. It's just not the same consistent as the other guests when I do this. But anyway, gotcha. so yeah. So anyway. The, but the thing is, the first season of this that was been out a while is like, it's it's up there. It's like forty or fifty dollars or something like fifty dollars, I think. And the second season, I don't think is as much. Okay. It's newer. It's newer. But whatever, I got to think about upgrading it. So that's my big uh, story this week. At least I had something to to show. Gotcha. To talk about. Well, um, yeah, I mean, I only got, I only had one purchase this week and this is a movie that I've been waiting to come out on Blu-ray for, for 20 years. Um, I did have the DVD, uh, but we've been waiting and and that's, uh, the movie called the abyss, uh, James Cameron, um, true lies and aliens had also been released, uh, just yesterday on Tuesday. Uh, but this, and this features the theatrical and the, uh, the director's cut, which is just under three hours. Uh, and matter of fact, I just got done watching it right before I came on to, uh, uh, for, for this episode, but, uh, really, really fantastic job on, on, on the, uh, the, the, the film quality, the sound, however, pretty controversial because from my understanding is they did use some AI, uh, techniques to help, um, uh, do the restoration, uh, for this, but I gotta tell you if it, it is absolutely gorgeous, you know, the bright lights, the bright blues, um, you know, the imagery, uh, in this, in this film, uh, looked like it was, it was just filmed uh, yesterday. So I got to say, this was really, uh, really stunning uh, to look at. Um, so that was it. And then funny, because last week I showed you uh, the Funko Pop figure of the De Niro that he played Jimmy Conway in Goodfellas. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> this week I've got the uh, Vito Corleone, who De Niro played <laughs> in the Godfather Isn't that the same part. the one too. you showed last week? No, no, this is, no, this is, uh, yeah, exactly. So this is the young Vito Corleone from Godfather Part Two, which uh, De Niro won uh, his his first Oscar. And it was pretty funny, too, because um, uh, Jimmy Kimmel mentioned, because Jodie Foster was also nominated uh, for for um, an, uh, an Academy Award. And so Jimmy Kimmel mentioned that it was, uh, I think it was like 46 years ago um, that both uh, Jennifer, I mean, it's not Jennifer, but um, De Niro and uh, Foster were nominated for Taxi Drive. And they were both nominated, you know, for the award that night. And then he goes, um, Foster was too young or no, Foster was too old uh, to No, wait, how did it go? 
Foster was old enough to be his daughter or young enough to be his daughter, but now she's too old to be his girlfriend or something. Uh, <laughs> like yeah. Well, yeah. I get the general gist of that. Yes, yeah. but I'm gonna I, my my computer's back up, so I'm gonna sign in and I'm gonna leave for a second, but I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's gonna come back. He'll be, he's gonna be even louder than me. More. He's gonna be even, so we're gonna do. Let's meanwhile. I'll get to some kind of hello, everybody that that I haven't said hello to, uh, including oh, he's right back, including Penny Lane and others. Um, let's try this. Okay. All right. How's that? Now you in my earphones, you sound lower than before, but it's okay. I can hear you. That's all that matters. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just hope that everybody else can hear good. Let me just make it a little up, bring the sound up a right. little bit, Mike. Okay. I can hear you. Um, I, was, I got a comment here. Um, Costello wanted to own a copy of all their routines. So the first season, they did all the routines. Yeah, there's the good routines in there. Yeah, it starts out with Jonah and the Whale, which is one of my yeah. favorite. Well, what comments. do you mean by he wanted to own a copy? I, I guess he just meant like just for posterity, maybe. Is that what you mean? Like have all the routines down, uh, have okay. it just have it in the show, so they they're they there. Um, but also, I think Costello might have might have like I remember hearing like Bud Abbott worked for him or something on this show. Like he actually okay. might have owned the show or had something to do with it, as far as Costello being in charge of the show or something. Mm. From what I think. Um, somebody can tell me about that. I like the way they use previous Oscar winners to give each nominee a yeah. speech before the announcement of who won. I think that's new. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen them do that before. No, no, no. They, 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 they've done it before. They, they bring out the five previous winners. They've for the for the uh, for the acting uh, Oscars. They've done that before. Like I said, I think it was two thousand nine when they first did that. Oh, hello, Noel. What's going on? Hello from Bayonne. Still waiting for my yeah. Abyss, U, Abyss UHD. Yeah, that's the thing because, again, it was, as you can see, as you can see probably better, that it is the, it is the 4K, but it also includes the Blu-ray yep. uh, and, and, and digital. So that's the thing is, is from my understanding is, is that I'm very lucky that I got mine because they, apparently they did not make enough to cover all of the orders. Apparently they... Yeah, more people ordered this than what they were expecting, which is just goes to show you that physical media is still alive and well. Yeah, that's what I say. It's just off the off the shelves in a lot of stores. They just don't want to stock right. them. And, right. Hello, Amy. Uh, Foster was nominated for Taxi Driver. Didn't know that. She yeah. was only in it for like 30 minutes of screen time, if that. She was Best Supporting Actress. Yep. Uh, okay. Fantastic. Yeah, glad you liked it. Glad you liked it. Yes. Universal owned the films with the routines. Yeah, but you're talking about and then the TV show Costello was involved with or something. So they so that was an actual TV series then? Those that the like, Yeah, which it's, you it's show. like a TV okay. I, yeah, and a lot of a lot of fans if you if I, I don't know how you feel about Abbott and Costello, but if if you've never seen those, it's worth seeing the TV show. Because most people like the TV show. And they think it's hilarious and everything. It is. It's good. But they like it better than the movies. They, oh, they really? made like 30 movies or whatever they made. Mm -hmm. uh, because the thing is that the movies, a lot of people have problems because a lot of them have musical numbers in there and stuff. Or music, uh, the music is in addition to them. But, you know, I like the movies mm -hmm. too. So there you go. Um, oh, Panic Room. I saw Panic Room in the theater, but yeah. don't remember it much yeah i mean that was the david fincher that's one of the uh, one of his films one of his lesser films but it's still pretty good um forrest whitaker i think and it was also jared leto and and yeah and jody foster um not the best david fincher film but forrest but, whitaker maybe yeah i think it was forrest whitaker in there yeah if i remember correctly yeah i love dune part two i thought it was magnificent Got to see it in the IMAX theater on the big screen, which is like Joe's gonna do uh, with with Ben Hur. But yeah. um, this was I mean, Joe. When, when you, uh, Why, yeah, Joe, Joe, Joe? Watch it at home. Save money. <laughs> save money. Sorry. Yeah, but those battle scenes, and when you see the worms coming at you, and you're seeing it on the IMAX screen, oh my god, fantastic. Um. 
Oliver, how would you rate Robert Redford as an actor? Um, good. Well, I think he's a good act. Was a good actor. He's a good actor. Um, you know, good director as well. Um, I think he might be a little overrated. Um, but uh, again, he's got some iconic uh, performances. All right. Physical media is so much better than digital. Digital is nice for convenience, but making a collection and seeing it lined up on the shelf is so much fun. Exactly. Plus, Henry, of course, like we always say, don't forget, you don't know when they're going to pull those That's digital right. ones out of streaming and you not can't get your hands on them anymore. Right? right? Uh, Tom's got the abyss, you know, for, for, uh, yep. forever, or so, so to speak. Although it's not that's much. Right. I watched the Stooges short, A Bird in the Head. I'm familiar with it. it. It was a good one. I enjoyed Curly's work with Igor the Ape. I was hoping to see Curly and the Ape swap brains at the end. That was one of the last ones when Curly was suffering from strokes and things, and he wasn't well. Um, but he actually managed to make that. That one wasn't bad. You know, some of them you can really see that he's having a hard time. But that one you can really, you know, is not. That one's not bad. In my There's uh, on you on YouTube. You can watch these. It was the old um, '80s um, Friday night videos um, that you yeah. can watch on NBC. Um, and I saw I was watching an episode of that, and they played the Curly Shuffle video. Oh. Yeah, that was big when I was club yeah. hopping. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I used to go to bars and drink, and they had they had yeah. that was always on. They always played that. Um, I watch and movies on Joe my cell on phone. The dance floor. Yes, I did. Uh, come on, Harold. Come on, Harold. <laughs> Harold, come, come on, on. Harold. Uh, somebody come once said, "Come on, come man." Wait, well, comment Dune one. Yeah. Uh. Abbott and Costello keep the mistakes in their TV shows. It's funny. Speaking of TV shows, did you have? Did you watch any more art couples, or you or you didn't get? To yeah, I did, and time? it was funny because you you made a reference to it. Uh, I think it was this morning or yesterday. It was the the uh, they get a car. Uh, the Dick Clark. Oh, that's and, one of the uh, best went, ones, man. Yeah, I this was fan. I loved this episode. This well, one that was, was one great. of the best ones. Yeah, the first time yeah. I ever saw that on TV as a kid. Yeah. And 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 look, Oscar's looking for a parking space, and he rolls that fat guy. It's like a guy right. in the gutter. And yeah, he rolls he rolls, and he rolls that's back. the first time I ever saw that. I left as a kid. I thought it was the most hilarious thing I ever saw. And uh, right. it's funny because just to show you, well, you know, you, know, you just only saw it once. You probably don't remember all the dialogue, but I remember right. I was in a movie theater, in fairly recent years, and I'm sitting in there, and you know, we're well. I don't know who's next to me. Some guy, a couple of guys, friends watching it together, and they had an opera, like a trailer or something for the opera or something. And somebody said, Ver I can't say it, Verdi. It's <laughs> something by Verdi and uh, Verdi. And then he goes, the guy next to me goes, something else by Verdi. And he, he does a line. <laughs> that's what he's. That's a line from. The, he, I said, that's the odd couple. He goes, yeah, something else by Verdi. Uh, yeah. When he's trying to, Felix is feeding him the names. Yeah, the answers. The, the, yeah, you know. yeah, he's feeding him the answers. Yeah, that's one of my favorite button. ones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lewis, uh, oh, what are we talking about? Oh, Dean Martin, Lewis and Martin Crosby. Hope whose movies do you enjoy? It's funny you should say that for me. I'm not really that familiar. I'm not a big fan of Jerry Lewis, and I'm not a big fan of Hope and Crosby together together yeah. so i don't i don't see a lot of those road those, movies yeah those road movies for me are just they're, they're they're kind of boring i'm sorry amy if you like them i think that's great but uh but for me you know they don't do anything for me i saw one once it was on tv and i i only I remember seeing one and i stuck it out i like dorothy lamore i'll tell you that in there she's hot mm. and but then as far as there was one where there was like this they had this thing on the wall that just keeps nodding or something. And that's all I remember about it. It's yeah. like a mechanical thing. That's all I remember about it. And uh, I, I should give Jerry Lewis more credit. You know, I I don't really like the way he was in real life. <laughs> so I kind of right. have a problem with him. But, yeah. I never saw Brubaker. Did you? Yeah, I mean, my favorite. Uh, no, I haven't seen that one. But I got to tell you, my one of my favorite Robert Redford performances is uh, the Candidate. Um, I think it was the early seventies. I think he was phenomenal in that one. 
really enjoyed that film. The trying to think of what, I, I, what I've seen him in. I saw Jeremiah Johnson with him. I'm trying to think like what yeah. I've seen yeah. with him other than yeah, um, Butch you know, and Sting. Butch and yeah, Cassidy with Paul and, Newman. And, then, and, and the Sting, yeah. Um, I'm sure, you know, I'm sure there's just, been other yeah. things. I just can't think of them. And the most recently, Walk in the Woods. I saw that newer movie with Nick Nolte when they, they were two old guys. Uh, yeah. And, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the Horse Whisperer. Mm. Um, you know, oh, what's that other, other one? Ones, when he bets, he he makes a he's a pool. He uh, what's the name of that one? When he makes a bet or whatever, he gives. He, oh he over, yeah, indecent indecent proposal. Indecent proposal. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's all played out, man. All of it, for me personally. Well, again, it just depends on the person. I mean, they're still making them. I mean, obviously, there's there's peaks and valleys, just like the James Bond series, right? Even mm-hmm. even with the the people, even the best, you know, the the Connery and the um and the second one. Why am I forgetting his uh forgetting his name? Who was the second Bond, Joe? Uh, the Roger Moore. Yeah, Roger Moore. I mean, even those I th- who are I think are the best two bombs. Even they had peaks and valleys when it came to yeah. Uh, you can't hit you can't hit a home run yeah. every time. Yeah, exactly. But I just I'm just tough. I'm personally tired. Of, I mean, I don't even I haven't yeah. even seen all the Marvel. I'm just the whole superhero DC yeah. all of it. I just, personally, I just I had enough. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> you well, know. Um, there you go. Um, well, I hope not. I hope not because I mean, Johnny Depp for me got old quick. Um, you know, it's like he's playing Mr. Dress Up with every film he does. Um, but I, I hope he doesn't turn into turn into that. But uh, all right, there you go. (laughs) Well, I got to do it. Uh, there we go. This is for Amy. Thank you, Amy. Here we go. You ready? (laughs) Jesus Christ. That's great. What a great clip. See, I didn't put it on when you first came up. I was almost, you know. That's uh, all right. I don't care. I don't care. And you got all the <coughs> president's men. Oh, and da, yeah. Da, da, da. Of course. Of course. The natural. I got to yeah. go back to everything I missed. I'm sorry. I missed some stuff here. Uh, Claudette yes. Colbert. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think like what I, I most yeah. liked her in. Well, she did a great version of Cleopatra. Uh, and then uh, the... Is she, um, is she, is she in the one... Oh, uh, Jeez, with, with Clark Gable, uh, yes, one night. Yes, what is yes. it? it happened yeah. one night. It, it happened one night. Yeah, that, the first film good. to win the four top prizes. You know, yeah, best picture, best director, best actor, best actress. Yeah. Yeah, back in the days when I was like trying all these kind of movies, yeah. I I watched that. Uh, you know, it was pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Anything good coming this summer? Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, listen, you know, I. I I'm I'm looking forward to the Furioso, the uh, the Mad Max um, uh, related film. Uh, then you got the, the the new Planet of the Apes film coming out this summer. Uh, Deadpool. Yeah. Uh, I mean, speaking of comic book movies, I am interested to see the the Deadpool film. Uh, the Joker, which I think it might be coming. Joker Part Two, which I think is coming um, after the summer, but I'm looking forward to to that. What you said about Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, w- yeah Deadpool. Like I, yeah, I, I still haven't seen Logan. I want to see Logan. I just, I, you know, I don't know what's stopping me, but I will eventually. Uh, I will eventually get to it. Uh, uh, Wolverine going to be another another reboot? No, well, X Men will be, yeah, because now Disney owns owns Fox, uh, which had uh, which had uh, X Pool. So I mean X Pool X Men. So they're going to be doing their own X Men. Yes. I want you to stop rich tearing up my yeah. charts. <laughs> Where does it say on that chart? It's my mm. my turn to, to park right there. And you can mm. see, because I've seen it enough, there's already a cutout. Mm. On the back of right. it, you can see a cutout hole where he's going right. to punch the right. punch. It. punch po- yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that great that great scene with John Biner, uh, yeah. he's going to like try to get him a parking space. and uh, Whatever. It was great. Yeah, no, that was a great episode. Great episode. Um, yeah, that's one of my faves, babe. What season are you on? Three or four? Three? 
Four. 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 Oh, geez. Wow. Yeah. You're getting up there. Yeah. Um. Any questions tonight, guys? Keep them coming. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to like make sure I don't miss nothing here. Oh, the natural. Yeah, remember the natural. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. The dancing clip of the McCartney. Yeah, I'm still waiting for mine to fit. I got. I have one of those also. <laughs> oh, the McCartney album. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I haven't um, seen. I haven't seen that. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, oh, my love to the get do your dance. No, 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 no. <laughs> Cary Grant. What about Cary Grant? Yeah. What can you say about Cary Grant? I mean, I don't. Yeah, I, I arsenic and all that. I mean, so many great Cary Grant. Uh, Mister Bl uh, Blanding's yeah. built his dream house. Yes, yes, I gotta get that one because Myrna Loy's in there, and I'm a big Myrna Loy fan. Well, you gotta see. Well, you gotta see Mask of Fu Manchu then with Karloff. She plays an Asian. I <laughs> was then... looking for it, and I can't find it. I don't think it's available on uh, on Blu-ray. Uh, you know what? Hang a hang loose with the guy. It's gotta be. That's gotta be something they put out eventually as like a standalone. Because right. right now it's part of a yeah DVD set. Right. Al Pacino to publish his memoir. Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. It shouldn't be called Sunny Boy. It's, you know what it should be called? Huh? You know what it should <laughs> be called? It should be see. called Hua. It should not. God, it should be called Yes, I'm Better Than De Niro. That's what it should no, be called. No, it should not. The it hell should. no. I'll tell you one thing. I don't like the way he's aging, though. There's something about him. I, I don't yeah, like well, it. Yeah, well. <laughs> like, still like producing. I like I got a choice. <laughs> oh, Johnny Depp, huh? I I have been I am just so over I've been over Johnny Depp for the last two decades now. I have no which, interest in seeing any any Johnny Depp movie. Which movie has the best cast of actors? I mean, how the heck can I even think of one? I mean, I mean, it's impossible. There's so many of them, but I, I, I mean, mean, then you can't think of one. Yeah, ben Hur. Top of my head. <laughs> yeah, uh, Network always comes to mind when it went with great cast. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, the first two Godfather films have great cast. You know? uh, I can't, you know, I can't. There's so many of them, and, I, and yet I can't come, you know, can't come up with one. Well, I came up with one. <laughs> fear, Felix's Fear of Flying. Did you get up? Did you get to that one? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, North by Northwest, another Cary Grant movie. Mm hmm Nobody talks like that. Wow, well, Sid Wonderland movies were terrible. Isn't his real name like Archibald or something like that? Or... Oh, I don't. Uh, you carry Grant's real name? Yeah, yeah. Well, somebody let somebody us know. Up, yeah, somebody look up Cary Grant's real name. Let us know, please. Say no most far. Um, Did you mention that one time? I thought you somebody mentioned that one time we were on. No, not well. I think we did mention it. Just saying because I just saying that I wasn't a big fan of the of the. The Brat Pack, as they were known uh, yeah. back in the day, and I think that Saint Elmo's Fire was part of that uh, that whole film. It's a, uh, yeah, another uh, movie. That, yeah, it's the Brat Pack yeah. deal. Yeah. I saw that in the movies, and again, don't remember a thing. You know. Yeah, Archie. There you go. Thank you. Archie Leach. Yeah. Pulp Fiction had a great cast. Yeah, I'll go sure with that. Sure did. Sure did. You know. Sure did. Oh, American Graffiti. Yeah, yes. So many movies had great casts. And why can't I think of them all? Then there's so many of them. Uh... Well, yeah. I mean, that's one of those rare movies where he's not like dressed up as something, you know, and he's not just <laughs> covered in costume and makeup, you know. So, yeah. There you go, Archibald. Yeah, they used to call. They used to call me. I had one shoe and one boot, so they used to call me Shoe Booty there, until they found out my name was Archibald, and he liked that better. He thought it was funnier. Mm. Oh, jeez, Edward Scissorhands. I, that movie I liked. I saw it once again, once in a the theater. I remember liking it. No, yeah, uh, Tim Burton's best film for me is Batman. Uh, no, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Not that, that I've might seen be my everything. favorite. I know what his worst film is that I've seen. <laughs> Planet of the <laughs> Apes. Yeah. Uh... I'm surprised Danny didn't <laughs> chime in with his favorite movie. Mm. You know. Have you seen Three O'Clock High? Yes. Well, you've yeah, seen everything. Uh, high school, a good high school flick. Well, except for all the horror movies that you've seen. Yeah, we can get some, some like horror movies up and things. Uh, uh, and I've never yeah. seen, you believe I've never seen Beetlejuice? 
I, I believe it because I, I believe it. Yeah. I mean, if you tell me, I mean, you know, because we talk about these things and we talk about some mainstream films that you think Joe would have seen, but he hasn't seen, uh, which kind of surprises me sometimes. And Beetlejuice, I, should, I thought Winona, I always like Winona Ryder. Uh, so, so. Oh, well, yeah. But I'm not going to see, I'm not going to see that Beetlejuice 2 unless I see the first one, if I do see it. Right. Uh, used to make a lot of multi-star films. Internet, International House, yeah, and all the ghosties. It's funny because I actually saw that. I have a W.C. Fields box set from some other country that you need the and no region region free player. And I used to have a region free, free player. I don't. But oh, one really? of the ones I watched was International House, Lugosi and uh, Burns and Allen. And I think they even had, which I don't even want to think about this, had Baby Rosemary. They called her Baby Rosemary. And she said, Rosemary, that actress was on Dick Van Dyke. Who's, I can't watch Dick Van Dyke because Rosemary just turned, grosses me out so much. Mm. Hey, Rob, how you doing? I, I, can't, I can't take it. You know, she's so manly. <laughs> I can't take it. Uh, you got me on John Mills. Yeah, I'm looking up some of his stuff right now. I mean, there's a few things that I've seen, uh, like Goodbye, Mr. Chips, um, Great Expectations. He played Pip. Keep um, going. See if I've seen anything. You know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, war, you know, Around the World in 80 Days. I saw the Three um, Stooges go around the world in a days. <laughs> the Parent Trap. You know, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, that's the thing, you know, was that, I, I mean, I have seen a bunch of British films, but I haven't seen a lot of British. You know what I mean? I mean, I've seen a bunch, but, uh, but, you know, not a lot to be familiar with all the big, uh, big names like John Mills. Do you think? Do you both. like Clint Eastwood more? You like them both? Both? Yeah, I think he's a fantastic director, but uh, but he's gonna be he's gonna go down as an actor though. I mean that's the thing. <sighs> I mean he's I think he's more successful as a director than an actor. I mean let's let's face it. I mean he's he's done some duds. I mean especially in the eighties. Are you kidding? That City Heat with Burt Reynolds. I mean that was terrible. From what I um, from what I've I've seen of of his, I mean, yeah. and I haven't seen everything. I think you're probably director. From you know, yeah, you know Firefox. I mean that that was terrible. Um. You know, he he's done some 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 bad stuff as as an actor, but the the stuff he's directed, I mean, really good. I've never sat through all of How I Won the War, so I can't say. But I think from what I've seen, I think I'd rather watch. Give my regards to Broad Street, believe it or not. This music, this is musical performance. Yeah, I mean, I've I've watched I've watched both, and it's like there, there's a lot of you know, British humor. In, in, in How I Won the War, which a lot of us, we probably wouldn't get because that we're, you know, we, we don't have the that British history of comedy. Well, when John Lennon you know, says, you, they, would they you have... like me to rub your balls, sir? Uh, didn't he yeah, say that in one yeah. of them? He plays with so, croquet yeah. balls or something? Uh, something yeah. like that. That I get. Uh, I, I've, I like That'll Be the Day. Stardust, I don't know. Uh, Stardust is the sequel um, to That'll Be the Day. But uh, that'll be the day I think is fantastic. Oh, Gran Torino, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's all right. I mean, I liked it enough to buy the Blu-ray. I never, I, I saw the movies, thought it was a decent enough movie. I bought the Blu-ray, never opened the Blu-ray. That's where I stand yeah. on Gran Torino. So was he the the gr grumpy old man? Is he the uh, get off my lawn uh, man? Yeah, he plays yeah. a grumpy old man again. You know, so, yeah. well, I say again. I mean, because they, I remember when I saw. What's that new movie? I can't think fast enough anymore. A Man Called Otto with Tom Hanks. It's the same yeah, kind of thing, yeah. you know. He's a grumpy right. guy in the neighborhood. Uh, Escape from Alcatraz. Uh, I didn't see that. I liked Unforgiven. I saw that once. I'll I liked it. Oh, fantastic film. Uh, I watched two Gregory um, Peck movies. Both very good. Yeah. Return of Gold is kind of cheesy. Uh, Walk the Line is is okay. I mean, it's probably on the second tier of 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 Gregory Peck's filmography, but not bad. Well, I'll start with Ben Hur, and I'm <laughs> first of all, uh, again, that's my jaw. You know, uh, uh, then then I'm gonna say The Sting. 
Although, you know, I don't forget, I like The Sting, I like American Graffiti, I like The Exorcist, all of them were up for Best Picture, but The Sting I thought was deserving. And, uh, you know, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, I really, I really uh, think is a good movie, and I, and, and des- but the, I wanted Jaws to win over that, honestly. But best best years best years of our lives. Oh um, yeah, and that's another yeah. movie I've been really meaning yeah. to see because yeah. I do yeah. like William Wyler a lot, and I've yeah. you know, that's one of those movies I, I I've turned it on on TV on Turner and it's always in the middle or something. I've never yeah. sat all the way through, but I do want to yeah. see that. But what I'm trying to think like what are the I mean so many movies I I know undeserved would would be for me Annie Hall. I mean, I like Woody Allen, and I like Annie Hall okay, but I don't know, best picture? Right. I don't know. Well, Crash um, from, from like 20 years ago, whatever I thought was a lame best picture. Um, yeah. I'd have to have a list. Uh, oh, you're talking about Sean Lennon's thing that he was involved with? No, it was, that wasn't documentary, though, Joe. That was animated short. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's what the. Yeah. What, what was it? The... I I don't recall. I don't recall. Now, when you but say no, the most, I haven't seen it. What's the most dangerous game? Were you mentioning that? What is, what what are you? It's me- a great movie. It's a movie. It's, yeah, uh... no, I know what it is. I've seen it. Okay. <laughs> and I own it. Okay. Uh, oh, I mean, what's the okay. point it's of the mentioning best... it? Yeah. What? Oh. It wasn't a best picture. Yeah. It wasn't up. For... It wasn't best picture. Ah, help me there, huh? Oh, come on with Joker too, man. I love you, Henry. I guess <laughs> twenty-one year old Joker too. I was like, get out of here, <laughs> baby Rosemary. Ugh, it's hard to think of that thing as ever being a baby. Yeah, Buddy Sorrell. Okay, I'm reading everything. And the, yeah, I saw again. I saw Nebraska. I did like it. Um, it I, you know, it was in black and white. You know, which is yeah. good. It, you know, I like when people make an artistic choice these days to do a movie in black and white. But I can, again, can I remember it? Not really. You know, I saw it. I remember liking it. Yep. Uh, yeah. I'm not, I, go ahead. No, I'm saying Bruce Stern is great. I met him. He's my personal friend, you know. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, you know, it's funny because, of course, I I I I enjoy the Ten Commandments enough, but these days I do. I I keep calling it hokey. It really is a little a little silly in a lot of places. The mill is like that. I don't know. Uh, I think. I mean, it ain't no I Ben mean, Hur. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Heston is 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 good, but. I don't know. I, I feel like they could have found like a better, older actor to play. Well, yeah, these you days know, he know, just you know seems I mean? to. Yeah. Yeah. No, he definitely I mean, looks against... like a young a young guy dressed yeah. up. Right. Yeah. Nothing against Heston because he he was good in it. But I'm saying I think maybe they could have found, you know, but then again, yeah. I mean his his I mean his presence is. Well, that's you know, what it that is. Film, yeah. You know, is it, is really felt. It's the presence, but yeah, he definitely has the presence, but he just doesn't seem, right. he's not old enough in some parts of it, you know. Right, right. Or at least, well, you know. Uh, yeah, well, what, a cl- what a clowny movie in a way. <laughs> written a little, so let me talk. Great Metallica movie came from that. So I mean, not movie, but a great oh, Metallica song. I should oh. say, called Creeping, called Creeping Death. Uh, well, I wish that, you know, it makes me sick to my stomach Ooh, that they didn't put the sting back in the movie theaters anywhere. That really pisses me off. It was the 50th anniversary last year. They did not put it in, and it's an Oscar winner. Yeah. They do that all the time, and but no, no, it's not enough action or whatever, you know, whatever is reason. It's a great movie. Hello, John. Hello, John. Look, I told you I don't care who I don't care how many tomatoes Tom hurls at me or anybody else hurls at me. I saw both of them. I don't get it, especially with there will be blood. Uh, but no country for old men. All I know is Avia Bardem, whatever his name, made a good villain. That's all I remember about it. But I'm like um, the best picture. Come on, it must be hurting. Daniel Day Lewis gave one of the greatest performances of all time, and there will be blood, in my opinion. 
<laughs> and that's what made him and him and the chemistry between Paul Dano. Uh, that's what really made the film for me. Um, I think Jaws should. Well, you talk about best picture. Yeah, I I think Jaws should have won. But then again, Cuckoo's Nest is pretty damn good. So, right. Well, what I mean, was Martin it? Scorsese's last two movies had like you know multiple multiple nominations and what and didn't win anything. Uh, the Irishman and the Killers of the Flower Moon. Um. Mm. But uh, those films that they get shut, Color Purple, I think, got shut out, didn't it? Uh, yeah. Color Purple. Yeah, was that what he? Yeah, wasn't that what he just had up? Where was the Color Purple? Right. 12, yes. Twelve nominations. Yeah. Just twelve noms and zero wins. Yeah. Klaus Kinski, oh. he was a nutcase for sure. Oh, Freddie, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the other actors that are that completely insane. Yeah, Robert De Niro. After watching him on TV, uh, an interview recently. No, um, I don't. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like who the actors are really insane. Let me think. Uh, yeah, they're all oh, insane actors. Well, how about Gary, how about... Gary Busey? Gary Busey. Oh yeah, is yeah, there you go. I got one for Talk you. How about, about Sha- how about how about Sean Young? Anybody remember Sean Charlie Young? Sheen? Yeah, Sean Young. Uh, <laughs> didn't she do like a Catwoman? The whole thing to try to yeah, win the role she for busted Catwoman? the office. Yeah. Is it get a Catwoman yeah. suit or something. Yeah, to get the that's role. Right. Yeah, Charlie. I Sheen. still haven't seen the hateful eight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, listen, I think you'd really like it. I think you how many really movies like I got? In? Yeah, <laughs> why? Yeah. I mean, today it's like I freaking I, I don't know. I sat at the computer all day here at this thing. I mean, I do nothing. Yeah. I just was sitting. I snoozed for from twelve thirty p.m. to one thirty p.m. I took a nap in the chair. I mean, it's like, what can I tell you, man? It's weird. The artist. The, uh... So that was the 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 silent film that won uh, best picture. Uh, like, what was it? Like fifteen years ago or so now. The artist. Um, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, it was fine. I haven't seen it since it, it, it since it was released in theaters. So maybe I should uh, revisit it soon. And Bruce Stern did a lot of TV appearances like that. He played a lot of bad guys. I think I just saw a Gunsmoke one with him not too long ago, actually. Now that you're mentioning it, the uh, Abbott and Costello meet. For, yes, I have all the Abbott and Costello movies on Blu-ray, and the quality is great. It's the only way to go for for that. I mean, well, you can, you can get by. On the, the DVD, but mm-hmm. it, it Blu-ray's really good. War is over is the John Lennon documentary that is one. It, uh, is so it not it a docu- documentary is, is or was a, it an animated? Let me. I don't know what they call it. it. Was it the documentary short? Okay, if that's the case, then then I stand corrected. Um, but no, I haven't seen it. So. All right. So uh, you. S- Let's see. You know, it's either a, either either an animated short or a documentary. You know what I say? You're kidding! <laughs> you, you barely hear him say, "Who cares about Bolivian chickens?" Uh, well, I gotta see it. I'll see it again before final comment. Yeah, no, I I definitely think that that film is deserving of best picture. Absolutely. I saw this this thing in the theater in 77 when they brought it back, and I was 15, and I didn't understand a thing that was going on in it. <laughs> mm. I couldn't follow it, but now, you know, I can. Mm. Uh, yeah, there's no sex uh, and F-words in the first two minutes of this thing. Well, that's too, that's too cheap a shot. <laughs> um, oh, one of the most undeserving movies ever in my book to win. Get out of here. Five hundred thousand dollar cliche, I call it. Mm. <laughs> it's like, say, how many times have we see that they got somebody that wants to be a boxer and the guy trains? And, oh God, I don't know. I'm so tired of that. But that's just me. <sighs> just because of his last. Oh, that's stupid. I still think it's stupid that he said this is my last one, my last film. I'm gonna make. Personally, I don't think I don't think you should. I mean, if it's good, you know, hopefully it does. If Kevin it's Spacey good. as a nut. I gotta tell you, I really think it's the business that turns all these people into whack jobs. 
you know, because you you hear a lot of actors through through the last hundred years say a lot of stupid things. Oh. Treat yourself to the Golden Voyage of Sinbad, starring Tom Baker and Caroline Monroe. I, uh, I, 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 free on YouTube, okay. Well, I'm a I, big Tom I, Baker fan, so I, I like those kind of movies. But I got to tell you, as much as I like those, those like kind of, I, I'm not a fan of that stop motion stuff. I'm really not. Oh, really? No, I oh, hate my it. favorite Clash, Clash of the Titans, 1981, yeah. I think it was. I, I mean, except for King that. Kong, yeah. you know, and Mighty Joe Young, I could those two, but yeah. uh, uh, all right, let's see now. Going down some more, the Holy Mountain. Holy Mountain and El Tapo, um, Judowski, I, I, I don't remember how you pronounce his name, but uh, that, that has a John and Yoko connection um, as they uh, was, were like ex executive producers um, of the film, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, I predicted all the great John and Yoko. I, predict, I predicted all the great marriages. It's another <laughs> line from the odd couple, something like that. It's a cartoon. There you go. Back to the. There you go. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, I was right. I was right the first time. Yep. Fantastic. I'm trying to sell my DVD box set. Of, now, now is Chauncey pulling your leg there, or is he being? I don't know. He's always clowning around this guy, so I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Now, if I, if I didn't see it. Okay, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I didn't see the Great Escape. I'm guilty. Oh. Joe, Joe, Joe. But I told you, I'm not one of these guys. Same thing with records. That you got to see every movie ever made. You have to listen to every record. Oh, but you have to, Joe. I'm not, I, don't paint, I don't paint myself, folks, as being a movie connoisseur of every uh, you know, I don't. If I had a channel that that, that you have to, to, you have that to, purported to you be know, that. Make it. You have what? to sniff it, right? You have no, to, you no, know, appreciate. And this is why I made. Film. If you don't watch out, I may just go right back to say Joe's horror movies and things like that. That's it, okay? Because I like what I like, and and I, I come up with a lot of things that I've seen. Here, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> I'm so tired of it. Everybody got to see this. You got to see that. You got to. Uh, uh. Yeah, you you watch. There you go. You like the Laurel Hardy films, Tom. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen a Laurel and Hardy uh, film since the '80s. Okay, so. there you go. Uh, yes, I know that. Uh, I have to get that as well. Yeah, I need, I need to, I need to, uh, to get that. The, I'm not big on their silence. I think their voices is half, of, uh, half of what's so hilarious about them, especially Hardy's. But uh, I definitely want to get it anyway. But that's again, I put it off, put it off. Got to get it. Uh, Did you get your, uh, your big tax uh, returns back? Yeah, yeah and it's, it's all spent. I, I, I mean, I didn't spend it. I didn't I spend it. It's, it's ridiculous. You, mean, yeah. uh, you know, it sucks. Plus, some of it's got to go to my nephew's wedding on Friday. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's this week, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. There you go. Just in case people didn't know this, there's a, there's a, a mention of it from yes. Nick. Yeah. Yeah, we did mention that at the beginning of the show. I will never see Barbie. and You know, life's too short. I, I'm not yeah. going to see Barbie. Well, that's why I watched it, because life is too short. And um, <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. so i got to see Barbie as many was... times as I can. <laughs> I know. Can't, can't, can't sit through those dogs to get through the gold. Yeah, I know. I know the great escape is superb. Not, I feel like I'm dealing with Danny here. Uh, yeah, I know The Great Escape is a superb classic and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll be glad I did. And if not, and if I never see it, too bad for me. But I know it's supposed to be a great movie. I know all about that. Yep. It'll be on your headstone. Here lies Joe Mayo, who never saw The Great Escape. <laughs> well, it's silly, you know, because as long as I've seen Ben Hur, I'm all right. It's the most Academy Awards ever. Um... I don't care what about Titanic. I don't know what that, but that that's I saw Titanic too. No, I think it was the Lord of the the, the Return of the King that tied it or something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll never see that. Yep. Do, 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 do. Oh, I hate those skeletons. Look so phony in Jason and the Argonauts. I don't know. Uh, Spencer Tracy. Yeah, I never know what was such a big yeah. deal about Spencer Tracy, honestly. 
bad. Well, I mean, those films right there. I mean, Bad Day at Black Rock is fantastic. I mean, the Judgment films are good. Uh, yeah. I, I, I've seen. I have. I see. I've, I haven't seen Judgment at Nuremberg, but I've seen the other two. Okay. Yeah. You know, and uh, back when I was, at, you know, from what, playing the film uh, connoisseur, I have to watch everything, especially things that have uh, popular and well regarded. Yeah. I have not seen any Predator stuff, believe it or not. Yeah, I haven't seen the Prey. I think that was on Hulu. I don't think it went to theaters. Um, but uh, no, I haven't seen it. I love the original Predator, though. Uh, I don't think you Music are. Box is the best Laurel and Hardy short, even though I think it won an Oscar or, you know. Do you know who won, who has won the most uh, um, Academy Awards, Joe? Who? Yeah, who? Yeah, do you know who? I don't know. Is it Meryl Streep? No, no. It's not an actor. Catherine Hepburn? Actually. Who? No. But, Walt Disney. Oh, Walt Disney. Oh, he won't be winning he anymore. Over. Yeah, <laughs> right, right now, all he's doing is rolling over in his grave. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's won over 20. I think it was like 23 or something like that. I, can't, I don't remember the exact number, but he's won. And he definitely, in the grave, is now not sleeping, but woke. Oh, no, he's got... Whoa. <laughs> That's right. I still say Tom has to see Tom has to see every one of the arrogant comedies, Little Rass. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I say every one of them, but again, you, they also need a little bit of you gotta you gotta like go through a few sour ones till you get there. That's me we're well, less than Cisco Niebert. Not as good. On Yachty with an eye. Well, you know, to be to be fair, I mean that's how they, that's how it's spelled in Hungary with an I. Oh, is it? So, so he's not wrong. But you're always hungry, uh, especially uh, on Mondays. <laughs> one of my bucket lists to see every Best Picture winner from the Oscars. I I want them all. Yeah, yeah, but not all of them was so great. I mean, uh, like I'm, oh. I'm never going to see Gandhi. I just don't. I don't give a shit. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm like because of the last. 10 years i think i've i've missed a couple um but at one point i was only like two away because i i don't care to see oliver i mean that was one of the ones and i had such a bad memory of of the sound of music when i was a kid my mom forcing me to watch it and uh <laughs> didn't watch all of it i thought the songs were so stupid i mean at that time you know, I was a Duke of the Hazard, the 18 guy. The last thing I wanted to watch was some woman, you know, twirling around on a mountain, you know. Well, now, but so, now the kind yeah. of things you watch, the yeah. ballet and opera and that, you might be able to take that. Maybe, maybe. It's a lot better than those things for my money. Did you get? A, did you come to that hard, the worst odd couple episode that my girlfriend loves, the one with the Marilyn Horn, the opera singer, who was in love with Oscar? No. Oh, oh God, God, that's the worst one. I don't care. Oh, all right, all right. Should be coming up shortly. I don't know this. I haven't seen it, Roger Ebert. He hasn't seen a lot of the horror films. That's for damn sure. Uh, yeah. Well, Witcher Woodmark is great, but my second favorite actor of all time is in there, Burt Lancaster. Yeah. Guns and Avril. Yeah, Guns N' Roses is great. Another great uh, Gregory Peck film. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Breaking Bad is excellent. It's hilarious seeing Spanky on the phone with James Finley. He said, I don't know. Who is this speaking? I don't know. I can't see you. <gasps> That's where they got, what's his name? Homer Simpson from. <gasps> what else is his funny lines? What number is this? How many guesses? <gasps> <laughs> Listen, I want to speak to old Cap. Well, why didn't you say so? Oh! Then it's like, put old Cap. Hello, oh, this is, is this Cap? Yes, this is Cap. Cap, I just want to say your back pension has arrived. $4,000. Oh, $4,000. <laughs> oh, children, my back pension has arrived. $4,000. Hey, $4,000. Oh, that was a lot in 1933 or something, I guess. I'd say. Oh, well, I still have to go with Sopranos. 
the Sopranos. I, I, you know. Oh, you put the greater than sign in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I won them all. What are we talking about? I want to see them in our home theater. You won them all. Oh, the hmm. best pictures. I'm telling you. Hey, you know, Chauncey really knows his stuff. You're right, Chauncey. Though, I'm telling you, I say this. They're the best restoration job I've seen of anything ever. And that's a lot right. of movies. Yeah. Uh, Medusa Touch with Lee, with Lee Remick and Richard Burton. Mm. Hmm. I haven't seen that one. Can you believe it? Something I haven't seen. Oh, I can name a bunch of things. <laughs> I like how you like kind of finagle your way around things that I don't believe you've seen. Like, uh, I don't know. I think like the end of the early stuff. Oh yeah, um, blah blah blah. Uh, I made it through the first two wing. I made it through first wings and Broadway Melody, but have to rewatch mm -hmm. Broadway Melody. So it was upgraded to Blu-ray. Yeah, well, not... I have wings. Yeah, I have wings, which was the first uh, winner. I mean, there were there are two winners in the first Academy Awards, but but Wings is what is is is, is you know known as the first film that to win Best Picture. I know of it, but I haven't seen it. But, I know of it too. Yeah. <laughs> but I've never seen it. I would love Breaking Bad. So they tell me. Yeah, Joe would like a lot of things, but he just doesn't have enough time. Well, life's too short, man. I got to decide. I'd rather see Ben Hur ten more times instead of seeing this stuff. I don't. Yeah. Anyway, what's your favorite Bond movie? Oh, here we go. My favorite <laughs> Bond movie is the first one I ever saw in the movie theater several times. The Spy Who Loved Me. Um, I'm not saying it's the best one. I think the best Bond film is Goldfinger, but mm. my favorite one is is The Spy Who Loved you Me. You expect me to talk? No, Mister Bond. I expect you to die. <laughs> Now, that's a classic line. Do you have any choice for this, Tom, or? Uh, not right now. He hasn't seen a lot of Bond movies. I have seen all of them. Oh, you have? Really? Yes, I have. I know what the worst one is in my book, Quantum of Solace. Well, I mean, the last one was... I mean, let me... I didn't, he see, did, I didn't see the last two either. What kind of fan am he I, did, right? What did he do? He did, he did five, and in and, and my opinion, two were good, and the other three were... Uh. Yeah, I liked I liked Casino Royale and Skyfall. Those two were Skyfall. Liked. Those, yeah, those were the two good ones. The You know, Spectre and uh, Quantum of Solace and, and No Time to Die. They were, you know, yeah, yeah, just I, okay I, or bad. I hated Quantum of Solace. I didn't see, and because everybody says Spectre's no great shakes, I have, I have it, I haven't watched yeah. it, and I haven't seen, and I also have the last one I haven't watched, because I you know yeah. all about that too. And, but, and uh, they've got great, they've got great actors as villains in those films too, and the, and they just, they just don't come through. Yeah, big business with James fin Finlayson. For some reason, I don't remember that one, but of course, I remember Way Out West. That's a that's a great James Finlayson moment. Say, why it. didn't you tell me you had two legs? <laughs> That's a great thing. When do you have that thing? You said it's on your channel or something? Or what? Where is it? With a long, long time ago, before Andy joined, um, my cousin, when I was doing the show with my cousin, he found the clip. And I said, okay, just tack it on at the beginning of, uh, of an episode. And that was when we were just doing audio. Oh. Four thousand and nineteen. Well, not twenty-three. It was thirty-three or early thirty. I don't know the exact. Mm. Might have been thirty-five, early thirties. That movie. Um, but that's still not a lot of money. Seventy-two thousand dollars for your my back pension has come. Mm. Um, I like Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman, I think, is a great actor. I still want to get that movie. It's a Gwenny Weaver. With him in okay. there, when he, but I can't remember the name. What was the name of it again? The replacements. It, was it the replacements? No, no. Heartbreakers. Heart, okay, Heartbreakers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nope. Haven't seen him. Oh, that's easy. No. Robert. I'm not just saying it. Robert De Niro. There's no way to me he's an amazing actor. There's just no way to me. 
I don't think he's bad. Oh, no. Hell no. And you, know, you can pick Chuck, Chuck, Charles Nesson for all I care. I don't really care. Well, just the, you know, one one is like a, the, the little exercise bike. And just which, is, which is unused. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and this, I'll put it this way. I'll put it this way. It's a bunch of shit I'm going to have to take care of once my mom and stepdad have left this world. Oh. Let's, let's say that. Wait, we, hey, Wes hasn't popped in here telling me to watch Secret of the Incas. I got to get that on. <laughs> There you go, man. And Charles Liston's I mean, in it, too. You call yourself a... Joe, Joe, you call yourself a Charlton Heston fan? Come you on, Joe. You know how many Joe. movies of him I haven't seen that I got back there? They're back there. I own them. One of them is El Cid, which is supposed yeah. to be pretty good. I've never seen it. I got yeah, that one. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, I try to think of the biggies that he's got. Most of, there's a lot of stuff he's got that's not so, too swift. But I can't... I can't. I, I, that's probably the biggest one that I haven't seen that's... It's like Major Dundee. I don't really care about that kind of thing. Sam Peckinpah. I just don't. Some topics just bug me. Uh, I don't know. Night of the Ingu- Night of the Iguana. Just yeah. the offbeat okay film. film. Richard Burton. Yeah, that's an okay one. Uh, I'm just afraid of Virginia Woolf, though. Oh. Yes, indeed. A light and, and a lamp. Really funny, but politically incorrect, to say the least. Absolutely. And the kid from Borneo, also. There's some funny, freaking-ass episodes in there, and they're all there, uncut. And nobody can cry about it. So, live and let die. Well, I never thought that was a favorite of mine. Listen, I, I'll, I'll give the, the only thing that I'll give "Live and Let Die" is, is is the theme song. I mean, when that theme song, when you're watching that theme song, and if you got a good stereo system, or, you know, or a great surround sound system, when when "Live and Let Die" when the song comes on, I mean, for me, it gets me pumped up for a film that sucks. <laughs> you mean the film sucks, but the song you like? Is that what you're saying? Well. The song is fantastic. Yeah, I like you know I like the song a lot, but for some reason I don't I don't I don't know why it doesn't work for me as a James Bond movie. It might just it might oh. be because that movie the movie I don't I don't like it. It could have been a, a much better movie for that song. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I mean, you listen to the song, you're hearing it, you hear the you know it's you know, especially the big bombs or whatever. But anyways, then then you know then the movie starts and then it just. Uh... You know, well, it's just kind of a dud of a Bond film. Uh, we get it in okay. the TV series vinyl. Yeah, I heard it sucked. Um, unfortunately, uh, I know Martin Scorsese and Mick Jagger were were among the creators or producers of the film or of the show. Sure. Um. What? Uh, I am not what? an expert. I am a fan. I am a fan. There I you not, go. I don't consider myself an expert. Oh, you're an expert. I, uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, you know, I am a fan of Paul McCartney. That's about what I, what I consider myself. Yeah, I don't like when they don't include "Never Say Never Again" as an official Bond film. I realize it's not it's not made by the studio. It's on the outside, but I still consider right. "Never Say Never Again." You know, a Bond movie, you know, James Bond movie. It's got Sean Connery and everything. So. No, you know what? And here's the thing. That was a Netflix film. I don't have Netflix at the moment. But Criterion uh, has a deal with Netflix to release um, their their, uh, Netflix-produced films. So I'm hoping Criterion, the greatest genre of film ever, uh, gets... uh, Gets uh, gets that uh, film and and releases it. (laughs) Criterion, bah! Uh... Oh, yeah. Gene Hack was he too old by that time? Ninety one, ninety, ninety one. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, no, not no, maybe not. Yeah, I thought nor or is if he's talking about the original. Oh no, I'm sure he's not talking about the original. Come on, he yeah. he probably thinks well, the only 66. one. Sixty six. It was sixty six, right? And and sixty two started. 60, okay, yeah, then he, okay, yeah, then he wouldn't have, yeah. Okay, uh, well, you know, Henry, Henry didn't, didn't probably didn't, yeah. didn't see that. Yeah. 
Uh, I saw Heartbreak is in a the theater. Not great, but not awful. Look, I don't give a damn. All I know is I want to see the very hot... What's her name again? I forgot. That's a good, yeah, well, she, the Hakoni Weaver is hot in that movie for her. What's, what's the, Jennifer Love Hewitt as the mother and daughter that are trying to con smoke alcoholic who can't stop choking on cigarettes. Right. <laughs> Gene Hackman. That's funny enough to me. Um, so we all have uh, we all have our reasons for liking v- very bad films. Um, oh, uh, believe you me. You know, you know, so. I already got my Mayo movie talk fix past my bedtime. Thanks so much. Well, thank you, Noel, for being thank here. Thank you for, yeah, thank you for showing up. Yeah, uh, Laurel and Hardy, Big Business is Silent, 1920. Yeah, the first talkie was 29. I agree that uh, De Niro's a goat. <laughs> Greatest of all time. Come on, man. Come on, not even close. Good for you, Henry. Uh, he's, trying to, he's trying to kiss your ass. That's what he's trying to do. Uh, yeah. Okay, Charlie Chaplin took me glasses. Uh, flopped in the shops at Eng- but They flopped in the shops at England. I got the very cheap, sixteen pounds. Well, cool. Yeah, Did Hyundai was releasing uh, his films as well? Hyundai, yes. you watch. Hyundai did watch Poor Things, and Hyundai <laughs> loved it very much. Woo-wee. And Hyundai, Hyundai is looking very forward to buying it on Blu-ray when it comes out. Now he's kissing his ass about like what a good Danny <laughs> impression. Uh, you ever see The Freshman with Marlon yes. Brando? You've seen everything yeah. that wasn't horror. Do, yeah. do you, what do you think of Awakenings with Robert Williams? I saw that in the movie theater. Again, I don't remember. It was all right. I remember it. But the he's Nero no... was robbed. He should have won Best Actor for the that. The Nero was, was, was no freaking uh, Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man, I'll tell you that. Oh, please. He's ten times better than uh, Hoffman. Uh, different, different uh, what's the, you, I don't know if I would say disease, but different. Yeah, I don't uh... know. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably not even close. Uh, uh <laughs> Awakenings was a very good and interesting. Speaking of which, I have to see The Awakening with Charlton Heston. It's mm. <laughs> a mummy movie. The Kid from Borneo was even shown on TV. I grew up seeing those all on TV as a kid. It scared the crap out of me. Really? The wild man from Borneo that chases the kids around. It's great. The swimmer. Yeah, I don't understood the Got concept it. of that swimming pool, the swimming pool. What the hell is it? Yeah, he's just going through a midlife crisis. I had a nervous breakdown. Oh, but boy. I love Burt Lancaster. And, you know, it was a really, uh, I think that was one of uh, Joan, um, what's her name? Joan Rivers' uh, first film roles. There's but, some uh, story. Yeah, that... on... Go ahead. No, you go ahead. You were in the middle of talking. Well, I'm just saying, it, you can get it on Blu ray. It's available on Blu ray. So I, I'd say pick it up. You know, watch it again. Um, I thought I love that Chuck Heston story. He told a story once where he was in an elevator and somebody said, uh, he acted like, because you, you, you know the act pretended they didn't know him, so you know he's standing there like this. You see, he says they don't want to like recognize him. Finally, finally, after a while, they can't resist, and he says, first of all, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed your work throughout the years." And I said, "Thank you very much. That's very nice of you." He said, "I could never decide whether I liked you better in Elmer Gantry or The Professionals." <laughs> so <laughs> he thought he thought he was Burt Lancaster. Burt Lancaster, that's hilarious. I think those are the movies. Yeah. Oh, God. This is why, Henry, you're kind of tough to deal with. But I can't really buy Roger Moore's bond. He doesn't have the same, oh, crap, this guy's dangerous vibe. Watch him. No, he does. He, he does. But watch him smack Britt Eklund across the kisser in uh, The Man with the Golden Gun. Hmm. But no, he doesn't. But that that's, that's okay. I started with him. I didn't know any different. And I thought that he was really good. What can I tell you? And uh, he's also pretty brutal in uh, For Your Eyes Only, where he kicks a car off a cliff or something like that. So there you go. See, I know my movies, yeah. too. <laughs> you know you know a couple. Oh, yeah, right. Makes me happy. <laughs> uh, there's Wes. He yeah. popped in. Uh, uh, Beat the Devil with Humphrey Bogart. I like anything with Bogart. There's another guy that's not a great actor, in my opinion. I mean, he's, he's a character. He's a, he's a persona, but I don't think he's like, is he a great actor? I don't know. Now, he's like one of those actors where you see a Bogart film, you see you see any Bill Bogey film, you see them all, in a way, because he's always kind of like the same person, in a way. 
Uh, swimmer is great. I promise not to ask about Secret of the Incas. Hey guys, I already I already asked about it for you in your absence. Uh, how you doing? I think I got it on Blu-ray. Yeah. So you liked the Never Say Never Again? Me? Yeah, I did. I mean, I didn't love it. Because it wouldn't be in my top. I'm one of my top favorites. I mean, Kim Basinger, I mean, that was when Kim Basinger was a hottie. Yes. And I uh, like the other girl, too. What's her, Carrera? What's her name? Um, the other girl, too. Uh, well, 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 well. Don't sing John Lennon in a movie chat. Will you please? Had a great time this morning with you, Joe. Fact. I deleted the, the chat this morning. Fact. But it was kind of an interesting chat. And it's not yeah, going to happen gotta again. you got to stop doing that. you got to stop doing that because when I wake up around 8, 8.30 to go to the bathroom and I go back into bed and I go, go let's go see if Joe and Danny are on. So yeah. I put you guys, you know, and then sometimes you, you guys are you guys are off already or something like that. Or or even get, later at 10. 10 get up earlier, up man. <laughs> but the thing is, it ain't gonna happen again. I'm gonna be calm. No more of that. I'm not going. I'm not into that no more. And, and we're not gonna talk the about choice. the same. The, <laughs> I forgot all about. You believe I forgot all about that? <laughs> to this moment, everyone has a choice. <laughs> the choice. When to is it? When to and and not or not to or and. Well, yeah. not to raise it, but you to decide. Yeah, I decided. I decided that I'm going to raise my voice. I decided I'm going to raise it's my like, what's your point? No, he, he, he sings it assuming that it's not a good thing. Uh, anyway, Atomic Blonde. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that one. But that's Charlize Theron, I think. was. Oh, baby, one. I got to see it. Then. Favorite Rocky film. These days, I'll say the first one. I used to love the third one. Yeah. One in three, I like the best. One and three, I think, are fantastic. I mean, I do have a sense of, or I do have a special place in my heart for four, um, but, um, but yeah, I three the the training scene with, you know, Rocky three, you know, with with Apollo Creed training him and all that stuff. I mean, that's just that's good stuff. Yeah, the tiger. Yeah, I mean that they was one of the the, that was one of those experiences yeah. that, for me, was like one of my greatest movie going theater experiences. It's like certain movies that I can't even tell you when I say the world's over today. Uh, it's like it just was. A, and I don't, when I think of that, I could still feel. I could see see what the, it was with the, this girl I was going out with. I was going to the movie theater, seeing it, feeling good, coming out of it, and walking home together. You know, and just it was a different world. Like I didn't not only the movie, but I could just feel the climate. Everything was a it was a totally different time. It's like when you talk, you know, yeah. people were walking around in the, whatever the the golden the roaring twenties or the fifties, whatever it might be, whatever your year might be. I, I I just it's not like that anymore. It's just not like that anymore. Um, never saw the Big Lebowski. That's another one love I got to see. Love right, it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to have to start ma making it a point to watch this stuff. You want to talk a little bit about the first five episodes of uh, Abbott and Costello? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, Big Business was filmed uh, just days before and after Christmas 20. Is that the one when they're selling Christmas trees? Is that the one? Silent one. This is going good. We're almost up to the ninety-minute mark, which is the when we're going to quit. Yeah. Um, but this is going good. I thought uh, I've only seen two Bond films as a very young kid. Don't remember uh, films Moonraker. What's the other one? Am I losing my mind? I've only seen two Bond films Moonraker as a very young kid. Don't remember much and Die Another Day. Yeah, well, Moonraker I saw in the movie theater. And you know, it was pretty pretty big spectacle. That's just that's considered a, a silly one now, but I I feel very like much like a like a comic book movie. It's a comic book, a crazy comic book. So it's, I'm alright with it. The, it's the, the lasers. What I think make it look silly. You know, when when they're in space and I don't. Know, you know, when I, I don't like the end. Everything I like is early, right. like before they right. get to space. I like everything right. before before that, especially the set centrifuge machine that spins round and round. Mm -hmm. And Bond's right. in danger, and his skin's like 
blow them back and stuff. I love that right. shit. Uh, and as far as the, uh, dying of the day, oh, no. Took my nephews to see that, thinking I'm gonna, Uncle Joe's going to take them to see a Bond movie, first Bond movie, and that was it. But, you know. Yeah, well, these days I agree with you. I think he's the best these days. You know, I didn't, you know. These days, I think every day. I mean, every every. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, you know, every day. But I mean, I caught I, I caught Roger Moore first before I'd seen a Sean Connery movie, so I had nothing to yeah. compare him to, and I and I thought he was Bond. And then when I saw the Connery ones, I thought, oh, this guy's better, you know. Right. Yeah, I think Connery's always going to be considered the best Bond. Period. I mean, even if 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 like Bond was the end today, let's say that dying the last film was it was it that they're not going to make any more. Connery will be the gold standard when it comes to Bond. Yeah, well, a lot of times what they do is, a lot of times, for a lot of people, it's the first. It's always yeah. thought of as the best a lot of times. But I think I think people like that grew up with, like, Daniel Craig might like him the best, you know. Mm. Younger people, maybe. Um, there's a good story. A fan approached Stan Laurel saying that they knew him but couldn't remember his name. And Stan said, Oliver Hardy. Well, what a comedian. What a comedian. I disagree yeah. with that. I disagree with that 100%. You re- I think it, De Niro, De Niro disguises himself more than, than what Jack uh, does in, 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 in his roles throughout uh, his career. You know, De Niro seems like De Niro a lot to me when he does this kind of thing. Well, now, yeah. I mean, I can see that now. <laughs> but, you know, following their careers from, from real time, I, I yeah. definitely would disagree. With yeah, the, I, the, the, the earlier the stuff Nero. is better. But you know, the one I think he really doesn't seem, he seems really different to me is in The King of Comedy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's Barbara Carrera from before, Never Say Never Again. Mm-hmm. There it is. Um, Cape Fear and Awakenings is def- clearly the same character. What are you talking about? So he's trying to say, well, he's not the same. He's not always the same. Get me out of here, will you? Help me, Lord. <laughs> I deleted the chat this morning. Fact. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, it was not a great chat this morning. I didn't like what happened to it. I didn't like the way it went. I'm glad you liked it, but I didn't like the way it went, Apple Pits, you know. And it will not happen again. You can take my word for that one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> pins and needles, needles and pins. It's a happy pins. man that grins. Now, what am I mad about? They raised the rent 15%. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right. You made me laugh when Danny said, we can't talk all about Hell this. Yeah. We didn't understand what was so interesting about talking. If you said, just stand in front of a mirror and say something. Was that this, was that this morning? No, that wasn't this morning. That's a great line, I got to say. Have you seen Gregory's Girl? No, no. That's one I haven't seen. No. No. Henry, you, no, I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at Henry's comment. Henry, you cracked up. Sorry, man. It's like an old, the old man that I am. But it's just so funny. Well, actually, I think a lot of people do feel that anyway. But how many comedies have you seen? That you, it's a dark decades? comedy. It's a, it's a dark comedy. I wouldn't say it's like the, you know, a comedy like you know, um, Ace Ventura or something like that, or a Jim Carrey comedy. But. And yeah, did, we talked about that last week. And did you know that I'm not going? <laughs> yeah, I, well, I, I have no interest in seeing it whatsoever. No, no, I'm not. I'm just I'm not going to see that. Uh, well, I don't know if I could see. I mean, De Niro could play it, but yeah. I, I just wonder yeah. if I would. Is he too I mean, big and too like lifelike? You know, big. Yeah. For that role. I mean, he was considered for for big as well. Um, there was a time where he was, you know, he was in, in, involved with the, the movie Big before it became what. What it was he gonna Tom play Hanks. in Big? Not the Tom oh, Hanks. The Tom role. Hanks. The, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's too old for that, yeah. no. But but it was a different different story. I mean, it oh. it, 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 it it really changed uh, over the course until until Tom Hanks come came aboard. 
but yeah, I mean, uh, De Niro was also uh, in the role of uh, the the movie that Richard Dreyfuss won Best Picture for. Was it um, Goodbye, Goodbye Girl. Girl? Yeah, the Goodbye Girl. De Niro got fired for that from that role, um, and Dreyfuss oh. came in, and uh, he ended up winning Best Actor for it. Oh, I could see, I could see Dreyfuss. Well, Dreyfuss is good for that role. Yeah. And you know James Caan, as much as I like the movie, and I and and he's good in there. I I just I always, I thought he was wrong for that part, but maybe that's good. Mm. He just didn't seem like that. He didn't strike me as that kind of a character, but an author like that. But he he made it work. Yeah. All right, who was the worst James Bond? I know who I think was the worst James Bond. And I don't think Timothy Dalton was the worst James Bond. Oh, I forgot about Timothy Dalton. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I for, totally forgot well, you're, you're, about him. You were totally you were forgot. Him. Say, I thought you were going to say that, but you're probably going to say Daniel Craig. No. Or well, he's, a, he's not the right kind I mean, of Bond. He's a Bond. He's Bronson? not really James Bond. He's a Bond for today. You know, I'm retooled, but I like him. Oh, for you're, what you're he gonna, did. You're going to say La- you're going to say Lazenby. Of course, yes, definitely. Yeah. That's one of the, that's the most overrated James Bond movie for me. The second worst James Bond movie to me is On a Majesty's Secret Service. And I, uh, but it's either him or Dalton, man. It's, uh, somebody said once, I think that Dalton was was kind of the way, close to the way he, uh, Ian Fleming oh, written. envisioned yeah, him written, or something. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't know. I, yeah. See the Lazenby of Dalton. I don't, you know. <laughs> I, gotta, I, I, knew, re- I knew you were gonna. I knew you were gonna highlight that. I was I waiting for you say, to highlight that. You redeemed <laughs> yourself. You redeemed yourself, Apple Pits, from this morning. I mean, that guy. I mean, that's all I'm gonna we'll say. We'll just see. We'll we'll see. He's out of his mind, man. What is he? He's just everything he described was the guy that's in there now. I don't understand yeah. that. <laughs> no. uh, uh, I'm not gonna go into that. Uh, well, Casino Royale was the first one, the comedy one, or not comedy one. There was a made for, was it a made for TV film? Was it a TV film? The first one in the fifties. Unless you're talking about Doctor No, I don't know. I missed yelling this morning. Oh, I watched Honeymooners Lost episode. Uh. Alice, Ralph Trixie not going on a fishing trip for vacation instead of Atlantic City. Yeah, vacation at Fred's Landing. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I don't think so. It's amazing that they get married. You don't feel anything for it, in my opinion, because they don't even show you them having a relationship very long. It's like I don't even get anything out of their relationship. To me, I don't know. And you think they would because it's a long, it's one of the longer James Bond films too. So yeah, I, I don't know. From, had time that, to establish some kind of relationship throughout the the film. Yeah, that's what bothers me most about it. I just I don't get the feeling from the movie as to why James Bond, who you would you think would never settle down, would do so. And this is the one. This is going to be the one. I didn't get enough of that out of there. So the impact at the end and everything is not that strong for me. And also the fact that. Now, it just so happened the way it worked out, Connery wasn't in that one. But it would have been right. interesting to see to see Connery in that one get married, to see Sean Connery get married. Yeah. But should have paid him. I've, paid nev- him. I've never seen Satan's Bed with Yoko. Yeah, I, I, do, I listen, I, I would see it. If I, if, if I saw a copy in front of me today, I would I would pick it up and I, and I would definitely watch it just for the, the whole Yoko aspect of it. Uh, yeah, I like Bill Murray and, and Tootsie. I love the mo- that movie anyway. I think that's a, another that's another great memory from 82. I saw a lot of good movies that I liked in 82 and came out feeling good about. <laughs> that was one other one of them. Mm. Uh, it just ain't happening again, Apple Pits. That's all I'm saying. Come on, man. Glass Onion. I didn't, what was Glass Onion that movie? Oh, that was the um, that was the Daniel Craig uh, film. Uh, it was uh, the second in the in and I'm, oh, man, I'm losing the the beginning of uh, but it's a Netflix film. Oh, damn it! I hate when I forget things. Uh, so you think Die Another Day is worse than On Her Majesty's Secret Service? 
Yeah, probably, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. There's things I like about that, but, yeah. Uh, Henry, you want to get blocked again? <laughs> you want to get blocked again? <laughs> oh, yeah. So you. <laughs> no, I won't do that. I won't do that. I know. Henry, you're too young. Some people, are, some people are old enough to know better. But you're too young. You, you know, you're too young. You, you know, you're too young. You need to you live know. a little. You need to live a little. There, yeah. Uh, there. <laughs> See what's going on in this in this world, man. You know. Oh man. No, I have not seen Fargo. I'm never going to highlight it. I don't care. I know it's a, it's a popular movie, but I have no interest in seeing Fargo. Fargo I see what I want to yeah. see, not what they tell me I, I have to see. Then I'm doing like I do in the morning with Apple Pits and Danny. You know. Fargo's I never bad. saw a Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. Well, we're actually at 90 minutes. We're going to have to start wrapping it up, I think, Tom. I think we're good yeah. at 90 minutes. Well, anyway, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, Again, these are great. all pretty good. You guys, you guys really brought some great comments and and questions tonight. Really appreciate that. Thank you. And do me a favor. Call this guy by his real name, Ed Norton. <laughs> <laughs> I am Edward Norton. I'm not Ed Norton. I'm Edward Norton. Okay, I don't want to be confused with our Cardi for character. Oh, yeah, well, you're not Edward. You're Ed to me yeah. but anyway this will be there's a lot of fun maybe we'll do it again there huh? next time i hope we do yeah, yeah. Ne next next wednesday there huh and uh thanks everybody this was really a lot of fun and laughs we had some laughs yeah. got my jaw shirt on here i'm gonna need a bigger boat and uh i'll say goodbye to y'all until next time yeah. cheers everybody thank you hey joe